work, please? Oh my gosh, it works. It's amazing. I just got that thing, and it's the only thing that listens to me. It's fantastic. Um, so I don't even know where I'm going to go with this thing because we have, I don't even know how many people we have and if anybody's even listening anymore at this point. But I know what you're all wondering. Uh, did anybody ID this creepy middle schooler before they let him on stage? They did actually. Fake ID. And uh, let's give it up for all the uh, great acts tonight, guys. Come on. Okay, stop. Only get seven minutes, so <laughs> cut that out. Um, so my last joke, or uh, my last part of this doesn't really make any sense because I'm the last comic. I was gonna say, we've heard a lot of really great acts, but now it's time for an awesome act. Right after this horrible one. But there's no acts after this, so I'm just gonna, gonna cut that. So like everyone else tonight, I'm gonna talk a little bit about sex. Hey, uh, lady. There's no lady in this room, so that joke is pretty weird. Uh, I'm a virgin. So that's pretty much all I have on that topic. Um, uh, I might be a virgin because I was sheltered when I was younger. But I wasn't sheltered. Uh, I was put in a cage, fed through a small hole, and told, there's nothing to see out here. It's pretty much my childhood. Uh, but I just wish that when my mom was sheltering me from things, that she would have been honest about the reasons. Like when she didn't let me read Harry Potter, because apparently I would turn into some sort of God-hating warlock, the Church of Satan. When really, the truth is, it's terrible literature. I've read it, I know. I know there's probably, is there fans of Harry Potter out here? No? Maybe? No? Used to be. Used to be? Yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> I read half of the first book and then I just kind of, that was it. Um, I wish I would have stopped because then I could have gotten back to reading Little Women like I should have been. So strong, so independent. You go, girls. Um, I think I'm going to go off the rails here and just find a random joke written in my memos here. S -s Scan through here, see what we got. Oh, okay. So, I find it funny that girls say that all guys lie. When we know girls are lying like, I'm busy doing homework. Oh, okay. Because the biology and chemistry was you checking to see how much alcohol did what to your liver. And you were studying marketing when you posted it to Instagram. So, where am I? Oh, okay. At least if you're gonna lie, don't make it obvious. I wish girls would just tell me the truth. Like, come up to me and say, I think you have the musculature of a stray cat. <laughs> um, I think you're hideous in the face, but only second to how ugly your personality is. If I had the choice of dating you or death by crucifixion, put those nails in my hand. Which is probably the meanest thing anybody's ever said to me. But I respect you for your honesty. That way you can move on. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't even know. I'm gonna go with random jokes. Okay, I like this one. Uh, I think it's really funny when softball is life. There's these guys out there, have you seen them? They're really extreme into softball. And they're out here trying to play way too freaking hard. We're casually sipping Miller High Life's on the other bench. And these guys are over here, beer bonging, protein shakes. They couldn't make it in a real sport, so why not play a game where you can smoke cigarettes in the infield? Also, we're all in wheelchairs, and they're like, hey, let's run over these guys, they're losers. So we have Peg Leg Joe on the mound, you know? No, he's actually on third. What's on second? I don't know. And we got the wheelers running the outfield. These guys are putting all their might in these softball hits trying to get their dad's approval. I just hit a home run off a no light friend. Do you love me now, Dad? <laughs> oh. And they didn't want to take any time going off to the bathroom, so they marked their alpha male territory by peeing on the, the side of the dugout. 
couldn't think of what it was called for a second. I witnessed this, it happened. So because I won't be beat, I'm gonna heck <laughs> I know we're losing 21 to zero, but when they make a catch, I say, you can catch them all, but you'll still work a dead end job for the rest of your life. They get a hit, they hit something really hard, I don't know, a home run, and I'm like, no matter how hard you hit, she'll never love you. Uh, I'm getting in their heads and they're up 21 runs and be able to score once. So worth it. I'm not afraid because I told somebody to be waiting with the camera, make a great video, let's call it seventh inning, stretcher. Think? I'm gonna go back to this, okay. So I work a pretty awesome job, well I did work this job. I used to be a bacterial eliminations engineer, uh, which is the name you tell girls at the club because it picks up a few more numbers than janitor. <laughs> and um, so I had, I used to have a girlfriend, she's now my <clears throat> ex, <clears throat> sorry, he's got his tacos, bad tacos, kicking me out. One minute? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have this uh, ex-girlfriend, and uh, I, it's really difficult for me to find somebody. I sound like a bald-headed uh, divorce man when I say that. But it's really hard out there. Uh, maybe it's because I'm ugly, but then the guy that she's dating now is ugly too. We've only been compared to looking like each other since we were kids or born five minutes away from each other. He's my twin. No, he's not actually, come on, how weird would that be? It'd be pretty creepy. But we do look alike, and I told that to uh, one of my fellow work employees that I, where I used to work, and he said, what? He looks nothing like you. He's taller than you, stronger than you, better looking than you. <laughs> my mom said I was. He has a better job than you, makes more money than you, he drives a cooler car than you. Uh, no. But he lives with his parents, and he's, he's 23, so he's a family man. He bought his parents cars. What have you ever gotten your parents with college debt? <laughs> if you like him so much, why don't you just date him? I gotta go mop something. No, it's not my tears. Just peeing on the ground a little. Which is a lot more honorable as a man than tears. And we, we had some pee jokes, so I figured to throw that right, one right in there. I feel like I'm part of the group. I'm gonna end this by saying, my name is Joel Curry, AKA Curry Spice. There's not that many people here, so my Instagram <laughs> account is not gonna go up that much if I tell you to add me, J Curry Spice. Thank you. <laughs> That's all we got. Thank God it's over. <laughs>